Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crate Expectations. I'm here with my co-host, Sarah. How are you today, Sarah? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I was I was trying to think of what, what thing I should call you today. I assumed that's what you were doing, and then I was also like, there's no way he forgot my name. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's it's a miracle I remember even that. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so. man. So, yeah, Sarah has a YouTube channel, in case all of you forgot <laughs> who she is. And uh, so in the video description, go check her channel out. Uh, the second half of this show is going to be over there. And it's the, it's the, I mean, well, let's just face it, the inferior part of the show, but it's still a, a very good part. You just have a very weird aversion to dessert. <laughs> I just have an aversion to you trying to frame it as like yours is the good one. So so then I do a really clumsy job of saying that mine is better. But I feel like mine will be key lime pie today. Oh, mine will have the interesting discussion, though. So and you have Brussels sprouts. Here okay, on. guys, who who's Team Brussels Sprout here? I, I love them, man. They're so good. Team Brussels Sprouts. <laughs> that sounds pretty dumb, though. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit that. So, anyways, uh, the, the second half of the show is going to be over on Sarah's channel. And we're going to be reviewing a different Lando. What, what yeah. else are we talking about today? You, you're usually the one who tells oh, people man. what we're talking about. Sorry, Sarah. No, no. I feel like we got we got so much stuff, but also not that much stuff. Um, so new marquee character is coming out. I'm I actually didn't even see if they said, but did you see if they said what day it's gonna start? I think it's Thursday. I, I bet that I think that they do kit reveal today. Yep. Uh, patch tomorrow, scheduled for Thursday. Yeah. Okay. So it is a uh, skiff guard Lando. He is a requirement for Jabba. Um, there were a ton, not a ton, but there were a few Jabba hints in his Dev Insights post. Uh, Crumb did his little interview on the escape pod. I don't know if we want to talk about that and what he said. And then yeah. there's just there's just a whole bunch. We've got a trigger photo, um, mm -hmm. pack review of a calendar, viewer questions. And then we're going to review a different Lando because why not? Mm -hmm. And maybe a roster roast. 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 Canadian roast. Yeah. Um, so where do you even want to start? I feel like we got a ton, but also not a ton. Yeah. So on this this side, uh, we're probably going to talk about... Uh, also, I, I thought, and actually, I, we're, this is like me pretending to bring to like present this to you, but I, I was thinking, Sarah, if you wanted to, maybe, maybe we could talk about the possibility that maybe we're getting into territory battle soon. Right. Okay. Let's talk about this because this makes me nervous. <laughs> okay. So, so the, the thing that makes me think we're, uh, first off, we're, we're like, everyone's got cam now. Like even my, my slow friend, ha Hens, who has... He has his, he's at a launch guild and they're just a bunch of like, I don't know, they, they don't even get, none of them hardly get, like he's, he, he's devastated when he doesn't win the cam mission because he's right. like the only one who does it kind of thing. Oh geez. That would you know, right like, there. oh my God. I, I know. I, I, he was like, he messaged me today and he's like, I only have like 10 more cam shards. And I'm like, my alt has had it for over a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, like... <laughs> Oh man, yeah. But he gave me a big middle finger, and I probably totally deserve that. But uh, yeah, like I, people for the most part ish have cam. I feel like mm -hmm. and it, GOTB has been out uh, for a while. But then the other thing that the thing that I keep kind of complaining about a, a little bit is I want to use like my Star Killer squad, and I, I want to use mm -hmm. like the Bounty Hunter squads. We can't really use because the best characters. It's all mixed. Like right. can't. And that now now we have a new character, the Jabba, uh, you know, with the Hut Cartel. But the Lando is light side, mm -hmm. which means that uh, I don't know. Like now we can't use Jabba 
in, on light side or dark side to full effect. Because, I mean, Crumb was like, yeah, the, the new character that we're hinting at, which happens to be Lando and he's light side, mm -hmm. is really good with Jabba, it turns out. Right. And it's interesting because they said when they announced Jabba that they were going to give him a specific combat mission in both Hoth and GOTVs. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I'm kind of like, why would you give him a mission there? Unless, I don't know, maybe they make that mission, though, that you can use any Hut cartel characters, whether they're light side or dark side. Right. Well, anyway. so, okay, so I've used I've used that argument, actually, before. I'm like, okay, well, what if they made a node mm -hmm. in, in whatever the next GOTB, or the next, sorry, the next TB is, uh, where, uh, you know, it does say you can use all of one type of character or, or whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. And then I, I was like, well, in on Hoth mm -hmm. territory battles, there is that like, there's a bounty hunter one that you can do that. But apparently someone messaged me and they said that's been fixed. I, I didn't, I couldn't verify myself, but they said that that was actually just like a bug that they, right. that they were allowing people to use light side. Uh, oh, okay. Bounty yeah. hunters mm -hmm. on, on the light side bounty hunter node. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't how it was supposed to be or something. Mm -hmm. But so, I mean, that proves that it can happen, mm -hmm. like, coding-wise. <laughs> they just have to reinstall that bug. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, clearly. that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, mm -hmm. okay, but, okay, so, if we get a new TV, what, what do you think it would be? Where would they start? Light side, dark side? What would be the environment? Like, we have Hoth, we have Geo. Oh, okay, so here's the thing. There's there's one real obvious battlefield left, basically, to me, to my knowledge. Because cause really, if you think about it, there was never, like, any huge land battle in the sequel trilogy. No. Like, you know, obviously, like, firefights and stuff. But there wasn't, like, any planet-wide mm -hmm. big skirmish of, of any sort. And the prequels don't really have that either. The only one that's real obvious that that just is, you know, super open for it, it would be Endor. But it's mm -hmm. it's like this. It feels a little Jedi Knight Lukeish. Like what back in the day when people when the devs were like, well, I feel like it would have to be the end of the game that we introduced Jedi Knight Luke. You know, right. like he's such an important central character. We're going to be saving him until a special time. And, you know, everyone, when he was released, they're like, oh, no, the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. But, but but that that's what it kind of feels like. So I'm like, where do you go from there? On yeah. the other hand, on the other hand, we're already, the game's been around for almost seven years. I mean, mm -hmm. if they stretch this out for another five years or however long, I mean... It, it, the game probably that probably dies on Endor anyways, if we're just being really sad and gloomy about things. Well, if they're if they're following the release cadence of the last TV, we've right? Got, we've got several years. Um, well, exactly. So, so Endor. What what do you think? Does that make sense to you? I feel like that. I mean. There's another piece, also... but I'll let you. I'll I'll let you talk. Sorry, I'm interrupting. I'm like, no, no. hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you talk. I interrupt you to tell you I'm gonna let you talk. It's uh, it's okay. It's not dysfunctional. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna talk now. Um, you, you sure? I, I'm gonna bring up the actual dev insight so I can read exactly what they said. Um, so Endor would make sense, especially because they said in his in the dev insight for this. Um, he is their first Return of mm -hmm. the Jedi 40th anniversary celebration character. Yes, yes, so that's that's what I was gonna say. I'm glad you yeah. picked picked that up, though. Good. Yeah. So clearly, we're getting Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary celebration things, mm -hmm. whether it's just characters or events or new game modes. Um, yeah, that that stuck out. Real, I had so many people screenshot that and send it to me. <laughs> They're just like, look at this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that is that also makes me think that the next marquee that we get for Java, because they also said in this that Lando is the second of three new marquees. So 
Chrysanthemum being the first needed mm-hmm. to unlock the newest GL. So needed to unlock Java. Um, so that makes me think the next one will also be a 40th anniversary character. Yep. Um, well, could could be. Yeah. Could, Chrysanthemum isn't part of 40th though. No, no, no. It just makes me think because they said Lando was the first. It makes me think the next marquee sure. would be part of part of that. Um, yeah. So I could totally see it being Endor. You get Scout Trooper released. Yeah, you, you could get make Ewoks that like give them little shot in the arm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Ewoks are already Ewoks are already scary. <laughs> They're not. Sure they are. <laughs> like nightmare scary, or or like you're intimidated of them in game. I just mean they they just gain so much turn meter every time they take a turn. I'm like just just chill. Just, <laughs> just stop. You know what? I just realized you you're talking about uh, conquest Ewoks. I am. The stun those, stunning. Those Ewoks. are the those are the only Ewoks I associate with. <laughs> <laughs> um, More no, Ewoks but, than me. <laughs> okay, so so you put the you put the territory battle on Endor. Yep. Let's say Jabba gets a note on it. Because he's getting a note on the other two, so I would assume he would get a note on this one mm-hmm. as well. Only seems fair because if you're gonna make a new territory battle, what is the what what's the like enticing factor to play it? Well, uh, okay, so this this coincide like this collides so nicely with so many different things. So first off, mm-hmm. 40th anniversary. What's mm-hmm. the what's the most iconic character that everyone has been asking for to be a galactic legend forever and ever in the whole world? To be a galactic legend. Well, like, like lately, I mean, oh. I guess other like. Other than Jabba. Yeah, I'm I'm asking a leading question here, but I know. But like, Le- well, Leia. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, they could give us Endor Leia mm-hmm. as a galactic legend, and mm-hmm. she could mm-hmm. she could be a big part of that. Hmm. Okay. Um. And then uh, the other piece of it would be actually pieces. I like. I think. I. I. My guess is. That's where we would get Relic 10 materials. Not that I want oh. that. I don't want Relic 10. Uh, it, it, it's coming, though. It's going to be here. It's going to be a I thing. Know. Like, they just put the new the Relic 9 pieces in the store so that we could get Radis. Right. Like, in shipments. So, like, you can, you can actually farm Radis, get Relic 9 Radis, without spending dollars if it, like it's still expensive and mm-hmm. stuff but you you can do it without dollars now you can do it free to play mm-hmm. and that what? makes relic nine more accessible I, th- I think that's that's the next step though mm-hmm. if, if i had okay. to predict territory battle released and that's where relic 10 comes in so then you would want to play it so you get relic 10 materials mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay and and you probably have some character unlock just like we unlocked. Well, what did, what did we do? We had um, I guess I guess we have light side and dark side unlocks, didn't we? Yeah, uh-huh. for for characters, you had Watt and yeah. Watt and Cam. So, uh-huh. did you ever do streaming for Watt? Out of curiosity. No. Okay. I I've never I never heard of it really of people doing it but the Watt mission is, is significantly more straightforward because it's your mm-hmm. typical mission with like waves right it's not yeah. it's not this three way fight right yeah well, so okay so what characters would be unlocked like it's long been speculated if we went to Endor Dark Side would unlock like Scout Trooper so that's kind of an mm-hmm. anticlimactic like really you get Scout. Okay, thank you. But but maybe he wouldn't be like the unlock character. So typically when they've released a territory battle, they've released a character with it. So oh, like like, like like what was it for GOTB? Uh it was GeoBrute Alpha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's not like he's nothing really special, I guess, in in Was well, that it? You needed a full full geo squad. Hmm. Okay. So there was there was a mm, uh, okay, okay. full there was a couple full geo missions. 
Okay, so it would be on Endor, and it would be Empire heavy. Right. Presumably. Right. So you could release a scout trooper and make him required for a mission. Mm-hmm. What, what about... Um, and everyone will claw my eyes out, but I, I really think um, it, it just seems so likely that they want to not have to buff them anymore, but they want them to have a ton of value in the game. I, I, I have to think Inquisitors have to be on the table there because they're an empire. Like, maybe they have... Maybe they're not, like, an unlock thing, but... May, but maybe they are, because... I mean, the clones have a bunch of ability. Like, like there's such a complex mission. You, you could have it be an unlock thing for a character. Or, uh, otherwise, you could have the Inquisition um, just be... Uh, like, like Geos have a couple nodes just on their own, right? Yeah, they've got the Acklay and they've got the Watt mission. Yeah, well, and then they have one other one, I think, actually, too. There's a phase dark side one. phase one. Yeah, it's not a geo node; it's a separatist node, but it's Poggle lead. Okay, I missed no at all. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. say, gosh. Um. <laughs> uh, so this is my problem that I have with it, with if they were to make an Inquisitor thing. And it's not that they're, like, making Inquisitors a thing and they're putting Inquisitors everywhere in game. Like, that's actually not what it is. When I think Endor and I think Return of the Jedi and Empire, I don't think Inquisitors. Oh, you're right. So why are they there? Oh, and I think of Hoth, I don't think Bounty Hunters. I mean, fair. But still, it just feels not when i think of place. geo geo territory battle i don't think of anakin with the padawan he hasn't <laughs> had yet <laughs> you know I like i still don't want them there oh well, I, and and part of that's i mean really like anakin and and snips go pretty well on gotb like that yes the time frame is a little off but i'm i'm being a little facetious there but you're right. It it sticks out, but but what other team really? Like may, maybe like an Iden Versio team. That that could be kind of fun. Maybe, yeah. I, I honestly don't know what else you would do. Let's do a Tarkin lead team. Just be ironic because he's already been dead for two movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. I mean, we're we're long overdue for a TB. I. I think so, and, and at the same time, do you think they'll ever pull back? Like, do you think that they, like, because you have to think that it would just be a matter of someone changing a number. Like, they go in and they're just backspace, backspace, backspace a couple times, mm -hmm. enter a new number, and suddenly we can get max stars on, like, say, territory battles for Geo. I don't think they would ever do it. I think, I think they'll just give up on, like, if we're getting a new territory battle i think it's a just forget about light side geo i i genuinely don't think they care if we max it or not okay so here's a here's the next question do you think on this new one if the mm -hmm. if there is one and this is all speculation guys I, i've heard it's it's fun to think of at, about at least and i mm -hmm. think there's a lot of really good evidence well, like textual evidence that Crum, you might think crumb did hint on his his escape escape podcast appearance that there was mm -hmm. pve content coming in the road right ahead. oh yeah i yeah i think i think right now there is actually an overwhelming amount of like uh, yeah just of of i mean it's all it's all like it could be it could mean anything but you know circumstantial i guess evidence but I do think that right now you could make a good argument that a light, that a new territory battle is coming. I said I almost said light side. I don't know why. Which <laughs> which side? Which side do you think would come out first? I feel like they would make a dark side first, even though they did it opposite this last go round. Um, when they when they made Geo, mm -hmm. only because I feel like if they want to kind of create like a little bit of of goodwill so to speak a lot of guilds are like sleepwalking their way through dark side geo mm -hmm. um 
and even if you're not, it is significantly easier than light side. Um, but yep. mm -hmm. if you were to make a new dark side geo, that would yep. theoretically become the new harder version and light side would <laughs> be. You keep doing it too. You said a new dark side geo. Oh man, a new dark side, <laughs> a new dark side TV. It would. Uh, geo is just, geo is just synonymous just, with TV right now. It's just there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you started with dark side, that would automatically become like the harder of the two TVs per month, which means you would have the harder TB when conquest isn't happening. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest gripe that people have right now is that conquest and light side TB happen at the same time. Yeah, I, I don't love it, but it's fine. I, I like, I like the JCs also not at the same week though. That's right. Because that was death week. This is just like, like mutilation week. It's not quite death. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So uh, dark side. Let Let's say, let's say that yeah. Like, so so like a few empire squads. Like you could have an Iden Versio team. You could have a. You could have. I I think empire i think inquisition i think that they're just gonna do it i think they're gonna pull the trigger on i it. think they would i think they will only because it's something that's variable that mm -hmm. a lot of people have their their troopers built up and a lot of people don't have their inquisitors built up so yeah so dark side i think i think done son uh, not to mention, okay, so also the fleet battles. You have Executor for the fleet battles on mm -hmm. one side and Profundity for the Rebel side. Yeah. Even mm -hmm. though Profundity wasn't part of that battle, but I mean, you know, it, it's it's a mon it's a rebel ship. It, it'll it'll be relevant. And then um and then the, I guess the, the two other questions are uh number one, how many nodes are gonna be Ewok nodes? <laughs> Of enemies. You know, oh well, you, you're gonna you'll be gosh, you're gonna be knee deep in fur balls. But, oh my gosh! But you're also how many missions do you have to play as Ewoks? When we get to light side Endor, if you take C three PO on your squad, do you just automatically win? Uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> the Ewoks just bow out. They're like, oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, we're not we're not gonna fight God. <laughs> uh um mm. i man I, I hope we don't have to it's gonna be so annoying they better yeah, not we'll be have, conquest ewoks we'll have like we'll have like saw guerrera who's dead with a bunch of rebel fighters for one <laughs> i don't know i'm just just making things up but I, I mean i think i bet we get saw guerrera at some point mm -hmm. um, especially because he's in the new andor show i was just gonna exciting. say with andor coming out I don't even think we talked about Saw Gerrera coming out in, in our last pod when we were talking about the... No, we didn't. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> a pretty cool thing. Guys, we have a podcast, by the way. We'll <laughs> check the video description. We talk about... Uh, we, we, we just rebranded. We're talking talking about all the different nerd shows that are happening. Um, it's, it's a good time. It's not just Wheel of Time, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Sagarero will be there. It's it's gonna be interesting. And then there's gonna be a Java node. Like if you're putting Java on Geo mm -hmm. and Hoth, you're gonna put him on a new TV too. Yeah, I bet that that's gonna be a thing that it's like the same on all three. So you're not right. missing out. It's like, okay, we could unlock let's say he unlocks Bib Fortuna or wh whoever, but we'll just say that. He unlocks Bib. Mm -hmm. So you you could do that in on Hoth or on Geo Geonosis or on. So you're not uh, forced to choose and to or, get the character. Maybe I'm just you know, oh, okay. So here here's the other piece of it though. Will they you know because th there's no shortage of you know you can have Ewoks you can have Rebels you can have Empire Inquisitors mm -hmm. like there's a ton of factions that would they could shoehorn in and have it be like semi plausible. The question is. Will they, because Jabba has a mixed squad, we know that, will <laughs> they be required? Like, or not be required. So, will it be just his node that you can use the, that full squad on, or can you use the full Jabba squad and other full squads within certain constraints mm -hmm. on these nodes? Like, if you're like, okay, I want to use Bounty Hunters. 
they'll let me use my full bounty hunter squad, including if it's dark side, they'll let me use Mando and Grief. Or on light side, or, well, I guess, or dark side again, they'll let me use Star Killer. Right. Or Jabba lets you use Lando. Um, I guess you would have to make it on specific nodes. Right. Like they would say, like, okay, here's a Star Killer node, for yeah, instance. Yeah, like here's a Bounty Hunter node. <laughs> here's a Disufu node. <laughs> like, I feel like the Star like, Killer one is the one that gets messy because there's just so many options for him. Like you'd have yeah. to have all of the, all of the Sith available, all of the Disufus, all of the, um, you know what I mean. You know, I think it would be more like, okay, so on a lot of them, there's like kind of story nodes a little bit. Like like the when you go to, let's see, when you're using a, a Dooku squad to confront, like you, at the end of Dark Side Territory Battles, mm -hmm. um, you're facing the, the like Jedi Triumvirate group, you know, of Yoda, yeah. uh, you know, the, those Anakin three of Anakin and Obi-Wan, and... mm -hmm. Je of General Kenobi, yeah, so... You know, and that's kind of the story of it, right? Or, or like, facing the Nexu is kind of a story one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and you're still getting just, like, points for it. You're getting banners. It's not like a... Yeah. Uh, or, or it could be a... But I, I could I could see a Star Killer one being that, maybe. Yeah, where it's just points. Yeah, I could see that, too. Yeah. Um, it would be an interesting way to do it to make it on specific notes. Because then you don't run the issue of making like a full-blown neutral territory battle which i've also heard people talk about before and right i feel like the issue with that is when does it run does it run during light side or does it run during dark side does it run and there's forever yeah well and there's no way cg would like because theoretically if you if it could run during either and you got to pick you could pick it both times, and there's no way oh. CG would let that happen. Yeah, well, the big guilds would be like, "All right, we unlocked this new awesome character in less than four or in four months, basically." Yeah, or yeah. less than that. That they'd unlock it in in one and a half months, like it, it, you know, in two months, because it'd be every two weeks you'd get you know all those. Yeah, I, I'm I'm really interested. I I think that I bet that they would stick with dark and light, but okay, we actually need to move on to the triggering video. Okay. Triggering <laughs> so okay, so last time, last time we had um, okay, so we, we got the the gear one BB-8. We're just gonna go Sad. through all of them. It's gonna be like I know an old, old woman who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly, you know, and then she swallows a spider to catch the fly, and then Never you know, heard do you know that song? No. Okay, if you, let us know in the comments if you've heard, <laughs> if you've heard it. Especially if you're from Canada and have heard it, I'm curious to know if it's just like a just an American song, oh. um, you know. But but the the final line, like she swallows all these different animals to yeah. to catch the last, and the last line is, um, "I know an old woman who swallowed a horse. She died, of course." Oh, oh, that's, that's just gruesome. It's dark. Yeah. Okay. So then we have the the one trolling <laughs> us for getting the Commander Luke uh, <laughs> Datacron. Wrong. And Sad. then there's the the two star uh, Anakin mm -hmm. ship, and then there's all of the pilotless ships <laughs> that this person has not unlocked <laughs> or worked on. And this one, uh. I think that this one's the most triggering out of all of them. I defy <laughs> people. This person has unlocked three Galactic Legends and has <laughs> them level one because they say that it has they've ruined the game. And so this person has Relic Seven, like they're Darth Sidious. Yeah. Just to spite people. There's just so many characters that have gone to relics and Yeah. Oh man. It's just so like if if Galactic Legends ruined the game, then what what do they think about Datacrons? <laughs> uh yeah, they should get the Datacrons for each of these three. Yeah. <laughs> just to sit them there. <laughs> <laughs> put them on put them on defense level nine all right we're out of time we're going to sarah's channel go hit the sub button here hit the like button here then go to sarah's channel and do the same exact thing we'll see you in just a minute for dessert <laughs> gluten-free dessert key lamb pie